friends call me Bones. Meet Harvey. He's a homeless gentleman who loves Pink Floyd, but also suffers from diabetes. He showed me around the Interfaith Sanctuary, where people call him Bones. This is a good place. If, if I wasn't here, I'd be in trouble. And possibly out on the streets. But when the ordinance banning camping on the streets got deemed unconstitutional and the Supreme Court decided not to hear the case, the homeless population rejoiced. Well, that's a big, big step in the right direction because honestly, discriminating against somebody because they have no home is just as bad as discriminating against someone who has to color their, their skin a different way or a sexual orientation. Mayor Dave Beter's administration created this ordinance to prevent large-scale camps from emerging in the city of trees. Today's decision from the Supreme Court was, was pretty disappointing. Um, uh, you know, the city has, has had a perspective uh, for quite a while now that, that the ability to, to uh, enforce the camping ordinance um, uh, is a key part of our ability to protect pu basic public health and safety on the city streets. Mayor Beter believes Boise should continue to fight for this ordinance. However, the Interfaith Sanctuary Executive Director disagrees and looks forward to working with Mayor-elect Lauren McLean. I'm glad that it's come back to the city of Boise being able to work together on finding solutions for those who are currently homeless and not relying on just criminalization to try and sweep a problem away. Because affordable housing, income inequality, and transportation are all issues that affect the homeless. I've got a dark side of the moon for you. Who say getting a citation on top of that doesn't help. Giving them tickets is only going to keep them in the system and get put in jail constantly to where they stay homeless. Steve Dent, six on your side.